Today we are taking a look at Cyber Holograms. It is a library of procedural, fully animated hologram materials available in two versions. One for the Extreme PBR Nexus and the other one for the SS Browser. These materials work perfectly well with both Cycles and EV render engines. And it should help you easily create the sci-fi projection effect. This shader can be used to create stunning product presentations, tech or virtual environments. Extreme PBR Nexus is a very powerful add-on that allows you to manage thousands of materials and can even paint and mix multiple materials together. We did a video on the add-on a while back and you can check it out to learn more. To install Cyber Hologram Shader within the Extreme PBR Nexus, jump to the add-on preferences and under the library management section, add the expansion package by navigating to where you downloaded the Cyber Holograms expansion and press choose path and don't forget to give the library a name. To load the new materials, select the library from the drop-down menu and now you can click the thumbnail and pick any hologram material you want. Each material has its own set of parameters to customize the hologram effect exactly as you need it to be. For example, you can customize the color to give your hologram material a different shade. You can also control how the transparency is represented in EV like blend, clip or hashed. Using the material settings is also possible to control the emission strength which controls the bloom effect and you can even balance the contour line with the internal ones. Inside the hologram, you can make the effect more interesting with different textures. These circuit textures can be controlled through the material settings by adjusting the circuit scale, offset and randomness. The material can be animated using a noise texture whose strength, scale and speed can be adjusted and keyframed. You can add another layer of animation to your hologram by introducing glitches created by a series of intermittent moving bands and in the same way you can control the band speed, phase, strength, thickness and distortion. Using the asset browser version the installation process is very simple. You just need to add the new library folder location to the file paths in preferences and then file paths Click the plus button, locate the Cyber Holograms asset folder and click the add asset library button. Jump into the asset library window, you will find the Cyber Holograms library divided into four sublists. Under materials we have holograms and lights. And under node groups we have hologram and lights as well. Now, you can easily drag and drop any hologram material and in the material properties panel you will find all the controls to customize the effect similar to the PPR Nexus version and you can control the colors, the blend value, the scale, the noise randomness and so on and so forth. The node group holograms on the other hand are used in the shader editor. You can drag and drop any hologram node group you like inside the shader editor and superimpose the new node between the material and the link leading to the surface output and this will override the material and turn your object into the hologram material. Also, if you have multiple materials on your model, you have to do this for all the materials attached to your model. Inside the node group, which you can access by pressing tab, you will find all the material parameters but you will also find shader gradient which allows you to perform animation of sliding mixed materials which means you can use the hologram effect as a gradient on your mesh. Now, you might ask yourself, what is the difference between PBR Nexus version and the Asset Browser version? And the answer is, there isn't. The only difference is with the Extreme PBR Nexus version, you don't have to fiddle around with the shader editor and you can adjust the materials right from the add-on window. Cyber Holograms has a lot of different sci-fi shaders with each material having different effects and parameters. But with the library, you have also 6 hologram projection light beams to simulate a one point projector that you can customize and animate to your heart's content. If you are interested in this add-on, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.